guys. You just caught me out for a stroll in the woods. I'm uh, just gonna head down and have a drink and test out some of these new water purification products. Okay, here are the first two we're gonna have a look at. Both your sort of budget models, both will fit in your pocket and pack quite nicely. Got the Aquamira Frontier and the Life Straw. Both of them offer a similar sort of level of filtration. I'll take the Cryptosporidium out. Um, I wouldn't go drinking out of a sewer with these, but if you're drinking out of all right water, you should be okay. This one does 30 gallons. This one here does 700 liters, so I'm not massive on my conversions, but they're gonna keep you uh, hydrated for a while. So if you're gonna be drinking out of um, bacteria infested water, for example, a turtle tank that'll be full of salmonella. I'm not sure why you drink out of it, but needs must. Um, you, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> so it may be worth boiling the water before you drink out of them, if it's not a great water source. Um, some of the products I'll go on to later, you can really get into nasty water and still be okay. But for these two, I'd suggest get a decent water source and you're gonna be all right. They'll, they'll keep you hydrated. Okay, so this one here, you can actually clip on the top of a bottle and drink out of. So I'll just show you that. There you go. So you can fill that up out of your stream, drink out of it, or if you want a super clean drink, you can boil some water up, put it in a bottle and drink out of there, or out of a cup. Okay, this is the Aquamira Frontier. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't actually fit on top of the bottle, so you're going to have to get down to the water source, go straight out of that. Alternatively, if you fill up, say, a plastic bag, you can go into that. However, it will make drinking on the move a bit more of a pain, as you're not going to be able to just carry around a bottle of dirty water and kind of go at it when you want. Water ready for our taste test. As you can see, the water's not great. Not terrible, but definitely smells of mud. <laughs> we'll, uh, see how I get on. Okay, as I mentioned before, the life straw you can just pop in the top here and you're good to go. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> too bad. I was expecting it to taste a lot worse than that, that's alright. Can't squeeze it though. Mm. It's quite a slow trickle but, you know, in a survival situation any water is going to be better than no water so, yeah, that's that one. Quite happy with that. Okay, the next one I'm trying is the Aquamira Frontier. Unfortunately, I couldn't drink out of the bottle earlier, so it means, I do, or ideally, I'd have a plastic bag so I didn't have to get on my hands and knees in the mud, but we didn't plan ahead. <laughs> so when you first get this one, you're gonna want to fill it about halfway, then let it empty out just so you can get rid of all the kind of carbon dust, I think it is in there. So let's give it a shot and see what we think. Definitely feeling downside. This is just letting all the dust come out. I'll get on the taste test. That's a lovely scent. Not sure on the taste test on that one. Not going back for seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's got a real strong sort of, I don't know, it could just be the uh, tube itself. It's got a bit of a plasticky taste, but again, it was easier to get draw water through it. It was unpleasant, but it'll keep you alive. So yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so now I've had a chance to try both of these. I can take you through the kind of pros and cons of each one. Um, first of all, I'd say size-wise, obviously 
This one's a bit chunkier. Once you've broken this one down, that's going to fit in any pocket. Um, in terms of taste, this one was slightly better, but that could be due to the sediment having a bit of a chance to settle once I put it into the bottle. And this one I was drawing from kind of murky water, so that, that could have had an influence on the taste. Price-wise, this one's slightly more expensive. This a uh, bit of a budget model. Okay, so next up I'm going to be taking a look at what Aquamira call their Green Line models. These are uh, mid-range models, slightly more expensive, but if you're going out and spending any time in the woods, I'd, I would recommend them as they're going to take care of the bacteria and ultimately they're going to filtrate or give you better filtration. Okay, both these products are available on our website, www.angloforo.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to both of them. From there, you'll be able to navigate onto the rest of our site and, you know, have a look at the other products I'm about to review. If you've bought either of these, then, you know, let us know what you think of them in the comments. It's always good to hear other people's input. Cheers! Also, let us know on the website in the review section. <laughs> what? <laughs> the four W's. W that was W dot. It, it's the same. W dot. W dot. This is the next one. No. <laughs> <laughs>